guys so today i'm going to be doing a july favorites video and this one is going to be natural hair product related so i'm going to first start with oils and then i'm going to go to leave-ins and i'm going to go to regular conditioners and a deep conditioner i only have one deep conditioner though but let's get right into the video okay so the first oil i'm going to mention is coconut oil everyone talks about coconut oil it is bank People act like I ain't do that. But anyway, it is the best. I love coconut oil. I use it mostly to seal my hair. And it's good for other stuff too. But um, I mostly just use it like after I put in my leave-in. And I just smooth it on my hair. And it's really good to keep my hair moisturized. Okay. And then the second oil that I just... Not just because I've been using this for a while. Jamaican black castor oil. I love Jamaican black castor oil. It's kind of moved <laughs> coconut oil out of the way for me, mainly because this really moisturizes my hair. Like, I put my leave-in on, and I kid you not, my hair is so soft, and it just stays moisturized for longer than it usually does when I use coconut oil. Now, coconut oil is really, really good, but I haven't been using it because I've been using this. And I just take some and just pour it on my hand. I thought the same thing with, after I put in my leave-in, and I just put this on there. Good. Okay. So, what did I say I was going to start with? <laughs> um, okay. Conditioners. Okay. Well, shampoo slash conditioner. So, I've been loving the OGX products. I started using them a little while ago, but I stopped using them. On because I really you don't get much for your money like I'm kind of a frugal natural and I don't like to spend a lot on my hair and I know it's kind of bad but I'm kind of getting out of it now but I love conditioner conditioner I love conditioners with slip and you know it makes it easier for me to detangle because I like to detangle while I'm in the shower while I'm washing my hair because I mainly wash my hair in the shower so anything that gives me good slip and I can get my fingers through my hair as I'm finger detangling is so bomb to me this right here the OGX coconut milk conditioner kid you not I put it on my hair my hair starts to melt basically like like my hair starts to just magically untangle and it's just so it's just so great but um the only thing i don't like about this this is like five six dollars and you only get 13 fluids out 13 fluid ounces and me i like the big ones because us naturals we only use mainly conditioner so you know you need a little bit more and i like to use a lot of conditioner like they say put a dime size, a dime size, really. No, I lather, yeah, use a lot. Anyway, okay, and the next conditioner is the, from the same brand, is OGX. This is the tea tree mint one. This one is really, really good also. I use this mainly when I want the tingly feeling in my hair, and it's really, really good also, and it melts the tangles in my hair too, because you know as a natural everyone knows detangling your hair is a must you have to detangle your hair because if not you will break your hair off just saying okay and i also love the shampoo too and i don't use shampoo that much now i've started to use the curly girl method more so now i used to just like for a little while i had started shampooing my hair every week but I don't, my hair did not like that. It started drying out really, really quickly. So I just decided to go back to co-washing mainly and then just using the shampoo when I need to get a real good clean in my hair. Now this is really good. I love it for the tingly feeling in my hair because I love the feeling in my hair. Okay. And then the last conditioner I like to use is this Tresemme Flawless Curls Curl Hydration. This is really good for slip too. Like, I, I I know I said it for like the other two conditions, but this one is really good too. Like, when I say your hair melts with this stuff, and your hair melts with these two, 
trust and believe your hair will thank you and they give really good slip. Okay, so let's move on to the deep, no, leave-ins. Okay, so this is my holy grail. I think you saw, you, well, you should have seen this in my, not last video, like my first video. And Cantu Argan Oil Leave-In Conditioner. The Leave-In Conditioning Repair Cream. Either way, leave-in conditioner. So, this right here, come, you know, pair it with this and the coconut oil they got away from me. It's bae. Like, yes. Like, my hair is very, very moisturized. And it stays moisturized for days. The only time I really have to um, refresh it is maybe like four or five day hair. Depending on how much I put in my hair. But if I put enough in my hair and, you know, like not saturate it because I don't, I don't like the white residue that, um, that some products leave. This doesn't really leave it, but if you put too much, it kind of will a little bit. So this right here is really good. And... The leave in that I was very surprised about, very surprised about, you know, was this Garnier, 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 anyway, <laughs> um, whole blend smoothing leave in conditioner. And this is the coconut oil and cocoa butter extract one. This right here makes my hair feel so long like it smells really good too and I really like to use this when I'm doing um any style really and I, I've been using this a lot and I alternate between these two but this right here surprised the heck out of me because honestly I did not think it was going to work for my hair I saw it on the glam twins video and I um didn't really think it was going to work for me because I thought it might work better for people with looser curls because my hair is a little bit kinkier than theirs and a lot more kinkier than some people who have been using this. But to be honest, it really surprised me. This is really good. Okay. And for deep conditioners, I swear by deep conditioning my hair. I deep condition every week, every time I do my hair. Okay. So this was in my last video. I need to go get more. It's not too gone but it's it's on its way the almond milk ultra ultra nourishing hair mask and this was by carol's daughter this right here is so oh my god my hair was so soft and i used this this past week past week to do my hair and my hair was softer the second time it was soft the first time too but this like i kid you not i'm going to have to splurge and get me some more of this because this was bomb okay and i also mentioned this in my back to the basics video the um olive cholesterol i almost lost this one too um this is really really good also my mom used to use this on my hair back in the day everybody knows just about everybody knows about cholesterol cholesterol is the og for when back in you know like 90s babies and stuff like that and yes like put this on leave it on for about 45 minutes to an hour that's just me sometimes i might leave it on for a whole night I know people say they might, might might not be good, but I like to sleep with my conditioners. I feel like it makes my hair a lot more softer. So, it is what it is. This right here is really good. And I know I always said about like leave-ins and conditioners and stuff like that, but I also wanted to mention gels. So, let's mention those too. Okay. So, I am a eco solid fanatic. Won't even lie. So these have been my favorites of as of late. The coconut oil one and the black castor and flaxseed oil. These two are so strong. I use this one today to slick my hair back. And I use both of them to slick my hair back. I use both of them mainly to slick my hair back and to 
like do my edges sometimes I use it to um, do slick back hair looks and I use it in conjunction with this the Gorilla's Knot I love Gorilla's Knot too because my hair is very kinky and I like to have my hair when I do slick back looks I like for my hair to be very very neat I am a very how I say this I like for my hair to look a certain way when I do it and I don't if I'm doing a slick back look I don't want any flyaways I don't want anything to be seen I like for my hair to be smooth and that is it I don't want anything else to be seen I want it to be looking flawless but sometimes that doesn't work these by themselves don't really work sometimes they do sometimes they don't it depends on how I use them but mainly I haven't been doing that I saw this on Twitter somebody mentioned that they use eco styler with this to get a real good slick back ponytail and when I tell you I tried it girl so mainly I just use I um, put my leave-in on sometimes it'll be I don't really like to use this one with gel because it's it flakes up so don't I don't suggest that I use this mainly put this on there first then I put one of these and then you know and comb it through well not comb it through but like you know make sure my hair is still detangled then I put this on it and then I put and I use not put and I use my dimming brush and a smoothing brush and a hard brush like it's it's science getting this stuff down okay don't be fooled it, it, it takes a lot of work okay okay so and then after that just look at that and I work in sections too that is a good tip tip for anyone who wants to smooth their hair back and they have my hair type like 4b 4c a little bit 4a because let's be honest we all don't just have one hair type it's like three anyway if your hair is like mine and you want to get a good slick back ponytail use all use all of these together kid you not you won't be you won't be disappointed you won't be disappointed i promise okay but anyway that is it for the month of july i don't really have any other products that i like to use sometimes i like to switch it up but this this is like the majority of everything i use right now and it's been working really good for my hair but um go out and try some of this stuff i promise that you will really really like it but thanks for watching my video make sure you like and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye so each strand is coated with product Thank you.